Hello, welcome to my class. My name is Murni Ramli. I am teaching at the Department of Biology Education, Faculty of Teacher Training and Education, Sula Smart University, located in Surakarta, Indonesia. Today, I want to share with you one of the issues of like teaching and learning. It is flexible teaching and learning, how to make your class more flexible. Okay, let's start with this episode. Mr. Tony is a science teacher of elementary school in the remote area. Today, he wants to teach his students about shrimp. He started his class with a question to his students. Have you ever seen shrimp? Some of his students scream loudly. Yes, I ate it at restaurant. My mom put it in my pizza. But one of his students spoke slowly. Sir, I have never eaten shrimp. I have never seen it too. Mr. Tony smiles to him and said, never mind. Then continue. Do you want to know more about shrimp? What do you want to know? Some of the active students said, I want to know what does shrimp eat every day? And how they eat? How do they swim? How many legs it has? So many questions emerged. Mr. Tony then said, Okay, who had eaten shrimps? Take out your drawing book and draw a shrimp in your book. And you who have never seen and eaten shrimp, here is the pizza for you. This is the shrimp, eat it and draw it in your book. After 10 minutes, Mr. Tony checked student words and found some of them draw a perfect stream but not detailed. Some draw just a shape with long tail. Mr. Tony then said, Guys, I have some videos, photos, cards, books, specimen of stream. And there are two stream in that aquarium. Choose what do you want to check, find what do you want to know, and draw again your stream. And don't forget to take notes. At the end, we will share our findings. That's Mr. Tony class. What do you think about Mr. Tony class? Interesting, right? Do you know what the strategy that he used? Yes, exactly. What he did is one of the examples of flexible teaching and learning. During this pandemic of COVID-19, some schools have been closed and all classes should be changed to be remote. In this situation, we recommend to teachers to change their traditional class into a flexible one. Then, how should we start it? Let's check first what the meaning of flexible teaching and learning. According to Lee and McLaughlin, flexible learning is a set of educational approach and system concerned with providing learners with increased choice, convenience, and personalization to suit their needs. In particular, Flexible learning provides learners with choices about where, when, and how learning occurs by using a range of technologies to support the teaching and learning process. Now, what should be covered in learning choices? There are some alternative choices. Class time, course content, instructional approach, learning resources, location, technology use, entry and exit point, completion date, and medium of communication. What are the characteristics of flexible learning and what are the skills that can be trained? First, flexible learning offers learners rich learning choices from multiple dimensions of study. Second, it applies learner-centered constructivism approach, which is indicated by a shift from the teacher taking learning responsibility to the learner taking these responsibilities as well. Last, learners are granted a variety of choices and take more responsibility for their own learning. Therefore, flexible learning requires learners to be more skilled at self-regulation in terms of goal setting, self-monitoring and make adjustments, critical thinking, creativity skills and of course, problem solving skills. What are the types of flexible learning class? Teacher can offer several instructional approach. 
such as lectures with tutorials, independent study, discussion, seminar groups, debates, student-led discovery approach, and educational gamification. Assessment is also possible to be changed into flexible modes, such as presentation, research papers, team projects, peer assessment, and standardized tests. Here are some steps to start your flexible class. We used a triangle of lesson design consists of content, method, and assessment. First, in the content, determine the topic, concept, competencies, or learning outcome. In the method, define the class format, scenario of activities, time allocation, learning resources, and medium of communication. And last, think about flexible assessment that can be applied in your class. Okay guys, that's the end of my class. Hope you can adjust your class to be more flexible. Thank you for watching and see you next time.